This is for my dinner tonight. Good morning everyone, this is Fran. Welcome to my kitchen. Today we are going to do another crock pot meal. I had a couple request, um, requesting more crock pot meals. So I'm going to do a couple. I'm going to do my main dish and I'm going to do a side dish in the crock pot. This is so simple and this will save you money. Maybe you need to go out shopping or whatever. You know how you go grocery shopping and you're hungry and you stop, you're so tired, you stop and get something on the way home. This is a great way to already have it ready. If you're gone out about four hours to do your grocery shopping or your errands and you come back, your meal is ready. So let's get started. Um, I'm getting out my large crock pot for my chicken. Okay, now we are going to get out our chicken. I have 10 chicken legs here. Take a paper towel and kind of rinse them off. Okay, now I am going to add, I have a bowl right here. We are going to add, we're going to drain this can of pineapple. We're going to drain the juices. I'm just going to put it in the jar right here. Because we don't want to waste it. Okay, so we're going to put the whole can of pineapple right in this bowl. This is pineapple chunks. And we have drained it. Add one cup of apricot mango to our you can use jelly jam whatever but this is like a fruit spread and this is all I had and you can use any kind of apple just use plain apricot if you like it's up to you entirely but I am going to put in one cup tablespoons of soy sauce. Ooh, put just a little bit more. We don't want it too salty. Okay, now we need one teaspoon of ginger. Smells really good already. I think it's the soy. I don't know. I think the apricot mango spread smells really good also. I don't have a lemon and it calls for lemon zest. One teaspoon of lemon zest. So I'm just going to use some lemon peel that I have, which is the same thing. I'm just going to put... That smells so good. You use what you have. That's how you save your money. By not wasting what you... By not wasting what you have. I'm just mixing this all together. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out, since I already have this in a bowl, and I've mixed it thoroughly, I'm going to take each chicken leg and kind of like go around the bowl with it. Maybe take three at the time. So we know each one has been coated now. We're going to uh, put these all back in. I'm going to take our remaining sauce and just put it right on top of our chicken. We're going to put the rest right on top of the chicken. Your kitchen's going to smell really good. This is a new one. Chicken thighs. I just had some chicken legs because I had bought them on sale. And... But you can use anything you like. Now we're going to set the lid right on this. And we're going to put 
that on high for about four hours and your house is going to be smelling so good and this is delicious. So with that island chicken, I am going to be serving that tonight. Now I want to show you a really easy and simple side dish that you can throw in a crock pot and have it ready and it makes the best potato mash you've ever eaten. It's so simple and so easy. So we're gonna get that out. I have some fresh potatoes that my mom's friend, if you saw my other video the other day, I can't remember what I was making, I don't know. But anyway, um, I had these um, potatoes in there and I washed them and I'm gonna uh, scrape these. This is what Southern people do. They scrape their iced potatoes, which these are red potatoes because they're so fresh, they just, you know, you, you want all of it. And then we're going to put them in the crock pot with a little bit of uh, garlic, butter, and olive oil, and they will be so good. So let's get started on this. Okay, I have my potatoes, and I scrape the peeling off, and some of it stays on. That's cause they're called scraped potatoes. We're gonna spray our crock pot and we're just gonna place them in whole. We're not even going to um, cut them up or anything. We're just gonna place them in whole just like that. So now we're gonna go ahead and add some garlic. I would think about five, um, about five whole pieces of garlic. I buy my garlic frozen and I'm just putting it in there like a whole clove of garlic. So five. Now we're going to go ahead and add our olive oil. Just kind of drizzle over the potatoes. Add a little bit of salt. A little bit of pepper. And a couple tablespoons of butter. These make the best, uh, this makes the best side dish. You can use any kind of potato with this. You can use um, russet potatoes, any kind, Yukon gold, any kind you would like, whatever you have on hand. Just throw you about six potatoes in with some butter, salt and pepper, olive oil, and garlic. And I'm telling you, they make the best. And we're gonna mash these up. We're gonna go ahead and get these on. And when they get done, we mash them up. Ugh, they are delicious. Okay, here is what my potatoes look like. And I'm just gonna use a little masher on them. Kinda go in. Okay, we are just going to use our little wooden spoon. Now we're, now we're going to add just a little bit of cream to this. You can add milk, whatever you would like, and add butter. But we're going to add just a little bit of cream, and these are finished. say probably about a half a cup of cream. Maybe a little bit more, a couple more tablespoons.
Now these garlic mashed potatoes is basically what they turn out to be. You put the garlic and the olive oil and they're just so delicious. They don't really need a gravy or sauce or anything. They taste so good. We're gonna test it, uh, we're gonna taste it for salt and pepper. Perfect, it's not needy. You can add Parmesan cheese to these. Anything you would like. These are done, these are perfect. These potatoes will go with any dish that you serve fried chicken. Uh, you can put gravy on them if you like, but they are so delicious. You don't really need anything on them. Oh my goodness, they're so good. Let's see, I'm gonna get out that chicken and see what it looks like. The smell is amazing. I had to put a few little pineapple chunks with mine because I love hot pineapple. In four hours, this is just so easy. You've got your potatoes and your chicken. Let's try this chicken. Like, but look at that. It's moist and juicy. Mm. It's so tender. It falls off the bone, but it's still on the bone. It's just perfect. I want to thank you so much for watching my channel. Subscribe, hit the like button, comment, go make this crock pot chicken. I think you will really like it. And it's so simple, so easy, and very cost effective. You guys go and have a wonderful, wonderful day.